In a war where traditional firepower and direct confrontations weren't the strong suits of the North Vietnamese Army or the NVA and Viet Cong or VC, the guerrillas turned to unconventional tactics to level the playing field. Contrary to the popular notion that the North Vietnamese Army and Viet Cong guerrillas couldn't match U.S. forces in direct combat, they proved remarkably resourceful in hampering the Americans' pursuit through the implementation of creative booby traps. These traps, marked by broken bushes, palm leaves, or specific stick alignments, became a nightmarish reality for U.S. troops. But why did it all happen? What led to this horrific event that is termed as one of the most horrific wars? The Vietnam War, a haunting chapter in history, unfolded for a tapestry of interconnected reasons that gripped nations and left indelible scars. It wasn't just about ideologies, but a symphony of complex motives. It began with the Vietnamese yearning for independence, stemming from centuries of resisting foreign rule, notably the French colonization that planted the seeds of discontent. Ho Chi Minh, a key figure in this struggle, sought freedom for his people. However, as World War II erupted, the tides changed. The Vietnamese, now battling Japanese occupation, found an unexpected ally in the United States. Yet the Cold War's chilling winds altered alliances, turning former friends into adversaries. The Gulf of Tonkin Resolution in 1964 marked a pivotal moment, thrusting the U.S. deeper into the conflict, driven by fears of communism spread. Amidst political turmoil in the U.S., the war took on a life of its own, with escalating troop deployments, contentious policies, and the grim reality of the Tet Offensive. The war, fueled by overconfidence, Cold War tensions, and imperialistic tendencies, became a tragedy that claimed countless lives and left a profound mark on humanity. So let's stop for a moment and take a look at some of the most terrifying traps used in the Vietnam War. Number 1. Punji Sticks Punji Sticks, employed with chilling precision by the Viet Cong during the Vietnam War, embodied a sinister blend of lethality and psychological warfare. Crafted from sharpened bamboo stakes, these traps were far from rudimentary. The trap's modus operandi was deceptively simple yet ruthlessly effective. The VC would carefully dig a hole, strategically positioning it in areas frequented by U.S. troops. Into this concealed pit, they placed bamboo stakes, meticulously sharpened to ensure maximum damage. Adding a gruesome twist, the stakes were often smeared with substances like urine, feces, or other infectious agents, amplifying the threat beyond the immediate physical harm. A thin frame, cunningly disguised with the surroundings, served as the trap's cover. The unsuspecting victim, stepping onto what seemed like solid ground, would inadvertently place their foot through the cover, plummeting into the hidden trap below. The result was a horrifying collision with the concealed spikes, inflicting immediate pain and injury. The punji sticks, however, didn't stop at causing immediate harm. In a more insidious variation, the stakes were positioned with spears pointing downward. This diabolical design ensured that victims, already impaled by the stakes upon falling, faced additional injuries when attempting to extricate themselves from the trap. The act of escape became a perilous ordeal, with the downward-pointing spears compounding the agony. Beyond the immediate physical threat, the punji stick traps introduced a psychological dimension to the battlefield. The risk of infection, stemming from the unsanitary substances coating the stakes, added a lingering and potentially fatal consequence. Even those fortunate enough to survive the initial encounter faced an ongoing peril. Number 2. Snake Pits Venturing into the realm of biological warfare, the Viet Cong guerrillas introduced a venomous chapter to their arsenal the dreaded snake pits. These traps weren't just about hidden spikes or explosive devices. They featured the incorporation of bamboo pit vipers, deadly serpents carried in the gorilla's packs. The strategic placement of these lethal snakes within concealed bamboo setups was a sinister innovation aimed at creating a biological weapon on the battlefield. Dubbed three-step shakes by those who encountered them, these vipers added a chilling dynamic to the guerrilla warfare tactics. 
the nickname was aptly earned, reflecting the limited distance victims could cover before succumbing to the venomous bite. It was a tactical move that exploited both the immediate physical threat and the psychological terror instilled by the unpredictable nature of these slithering assassins. The introduction of snake pits into the guerrilla playbook forced the U.S. military to adapt and counter this insidious threat. Specialized personnel known as tunnel rats emerged as a response to the need for navigating and disarming these treacherous traps. The sophistication underlying these seemingly primitive tactics became apparent as the military had to train individuals specifically to confront the unpredictable dangers posed by venomous snakes lurking in hidden tunnels. The snake pits weren't just about inflicting physical harm, they embodied a calculated strategy that sought to exploit the fears and vulnerabilities of the enemy. Number 3. Grenade in a Can In the relentless pursuit of unconventional warfare, the Viet Cong unleashed the grenade in a can trap a diabolical creation aimed at disrupting the American forces. Along the winding paths, two inconspicuous cans, strategically mounted on trees, harbored a deadly surprise. Inside these seemingly harmless cans lurked grenades, their safety pins callously removed to ensure a hair-trigger response. The VC guerrillas, masters of disguise and deception, placed the explosives within the cans, meticulously securing the striker levers for maximum impact. A tripwire, barely visible to the naked eye, was cunningly tied to each grenade, connecting the cans like a sinister web of death. Imagine the unsuspecting soldiers, navigating the unforgiving terrain, unaware of the imminent danger that lay ahead. As one soldier inadvertently tripped the concealed wire, the trap sprang into action. The tripwire yanked the grenades out of their metallic confines and, in an instant, the air was filled with a deafening roar of explosives. The path turned into a chaotic scene of smoke and shrapnel, and any soldiers unfortunate enough to be in the vicinity faced the lethal consequences of the ingeniously devised ambush. Number 4. Flag Bombs In the harrowing landscape of the Vietnam War, Every symbol of victory became a potential instrument of destruction in the hands of the North Vietnamese Army and Viet Cong. Among their sinister creations was the Frag Bomb, a diabolical fusion of psychological warfare and lethal ingenuity. Understanding the profound impact the capturing enemy flags had on American troops, the guerrillas turned this act of triumph into a perilous undertaking. As the NVA and VC faced the inevitable need to abandon bases or strategic locations, they strategically rigged their flags with explosives. These seemingly ordinary symbols of triumph were transformed into deadly traps, awaiting the unsuspecting hands of U.S. troops. Any attempt to move or claim these flags triggered the explosive charge, instantly turning what should have been a moment of victory into a life-threatening scenario for those seeking war trophies. What made the flag bomb particularly insidious was its exploitation of the American psyche. Their guerrillas demonstrated a keen understanding of the emotional weight attached to capturing enemy flags. In war, these flags represented not just territorial conquest, but also the morale-boosting spoils of victory. By booby-trapping these symbols, the NVA and VC elevated the stakes, turning the pursuit of trophies into a dangerous gamble. The Cartridge Trap, a creation of the guerrilla warfare playbook during the Vietnam War, embodied the insidious nature of the conflict. Ingeniously designed to be exceptionally difficult to detect, this trap added an unseen menace from below turning seemingly harmless environments into potential death traps. Picture this, a round of ammunition, a cartridge, meticulously set into a piece of bamboo, then lowered into a shallow hole in the ground. Deviously concealed, it waited patiently for an unsuspecting victim. At the base of the bamboo lay a seemingly innocuous board and a nail, components that would transform the ground beneath into a treacherous weapon. The brilliance of the trap lay in its simplicity. As a soldier walked over the cartridge, the regular weight applied would press the nail into the primer. This seemingly mundane action was the trigger, converting the nail into an unintentional firing pin. 
In an instant, the result was a bullet firing upward through the victim's foot, turning routine movement into a life-altering event. This trap not only spoke volumes about the gorilla's ingenuity in concealing lethal devices, but also underscored the constant threat faced by soldiers in a war where danger lurked in unexpected places. Number 6. Bamboo Whip This particular trap was a chilling incarnation of the sharpened bamboo technique, taking the art of ambush to a whole new level. In this trap, sharp and menacing spikes were mounted over an extended bamboo pole. The ingenious twist lay in the trap's mechanism. The pole was pulled back into a taut arc, held in suspense by a catch connected to a tripwire. As unsuspecting American troops traversed the perilous terrain, they remained oblivious to the impending danger. The tripwire, often cleverly concealed amidst the natural surroundings, held the key to this deadly ambush. When triggered, the catch gave way, releasing the tension in the bamboo pole. What happened next was a horrifying ballet of speed and precision. The bamboo whip's foot-long spikes, propelled by the released tension, hurled towards their target at astonishing speeds, 100 miles an hour, to be precise. The element of surprise combined with the sheer velocity of the attack left little room for the unfortunate trooper to react. The trap's design ensured that the spike struck with devastating force, finding their mark in the chest of the unsuspecting victim. Number 7. The Mace This trap was not just a mechanical menace. It was a symbol of the environment transforming into a weapon, lying in wait for an unwitting adversary. Picture a seemingly innocuous wire stretched across the jungle path, barely noticeable amidst the foliage. Little did anyone know that triggering this unassuming wire would set into motion a brutal ballet of death. The mace, a 24-inch metal or wooden ball adorned with spikes and weighing a daunting 40 pounds or more, would swing down from the canopy above. It wasn't just a swing, it was a descent into oblivion an unstoppable force hurtling towards anyone unlucky enough to be caught in its path. The brutality of the mace lay not just in its formidable weight and lethal spikes, but in the psychological impact it had on those who encountered it. In the midst of dense jungles, where every step could be your last, the mace added an element of terror that extended beyond physical harm. It was a reminder that in this guerrilla warfare landscape, even the very trees above could become instruments of death. As the wire was triggered, the mace became an executioner's instrument, descending with a swiftness that left no room for escape. The term swift journey to oblivion takes on a harrowing reality when confronted with the sheer force and malevolence of the mace. It became an embodiment of the relentless pursuit of innovation in the guerrilla arsenal, a chilling chapter in the narrative of a war where survival meant navigating not only the human adversaries, but also the deadly traps laid by an environment turned hostile. And if you're liking the video so far, then make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Number 8. The Tiger Trap The Tiger Trap was a sinister variation, echoing the brutality of the mace, but adding a macabre twist. A seemingly innocent tripwire played the role of the executioner, triggering a release mechanism attached to a rope. What followed was a deadly performance of a man-sized plank cunningly weighted with bricks plunging from the canopy above. However, this was not just any plank, it was a harbinger of doom filled with barbed metal spikes poised to strike with lethal precision. The intention was clear. Death from above, a grim retribution that targeted the unsuspecting victim's forehead. The element of surprise was a key weapon in the guerrilla arsenal, and the tiger trap epitomized this strategy. In the dense foliage where visibility was limited and every rustle could be the enemy, the threat from the skies added a new dimension of fear. Number 9. Toe Popper Mines Toe-popper mines, officially known as the M2 anti-personnel mine, were small pressure-activated devices designed to maim rather than kill. The name itself paints a gruesome picture of the intended effect. 
The explosion targeted the lower extremities of soldiers, causing severe injuries to the feet and legs. While not fatal, the purpose was to incapacitate and demoralize, leaving victims physically and emotionally scarred. The cruel efficiency of Topopper mines lay in their size and inconspicuous nature. Often buried just beneath the surface of well-trodden paths, these mines took a toll on both body and morale. The constant fear of losing a limb to an unseen enemy added an extra layer of psychological trauma to an already harrowing experience. Number 10. Bouncing Betty Mines Bouncing Betty Mines, or the M16 mine, were a particularly insidious weapon used by the North Vietnamese Army. These mines were designed to launch into the air before detonating at chest height, causing devastating injuries to anyone in the vicinity. The element of surprise and the widespread use of these mines made traversing open areas a deadly gamble for soldiers. The psychological impact of encountering Bouncing Betty mines was profound. The sudden and unpredictable nature of the explosion created an environment of constant fear and paranoia. Soldiers faced the grim reality that even seemingly clear areas could be laden with hidden threats, eroding their sense of security and amplifying the stress of combat. The Vietnam War brought to light a chilling aspect of warfare, the art of booby traps. Far from primitive, these traps showcased the creativity and strategic thinking of the North Vietnamese Army and Viet Cong guerrillas. Their ability to turn everyday objects and natural elements into lethal weapons highlighted the asymmetrical nature of the conflict. The punji sticks, snake pits, grenade in a can, flag bombs, cartridge trap, bamboo whip, the mace, and tiger traps were not just instruments of physical harm but also psychological warfare, keeping U.S. forces in a perpetual state of uncertainty and fear. The war may be over, but the legacy of these ingenious and terrifying booby traps remains etched in the annals of military history, especially when you consider that some of them are still out there in the jungle waiting for unsuspecting victims. So, what do you think of these terrifying traps? Let us know in the comments section below and make sure to subscribe and like the video. Thanks for watching everybody, we'll see you next time.